This is my Nokia 5G21 gateway that I use for my 5G T-Mobile home internet. Let me show you how to open it so you can add external antennas to it. Because I didn't want to risk damaging the gateway unit that T-Mobile sent me, I bought this guy on eBay for $25 without a charger. This power button will get stuck when you slide the cover off, so you can either keep the button pressed in when you slide the cover off, or in my case, I'm just gonna remove the cover of the button using some needle nose pliers. Turn the unit upside down and you'll see two Torx size T10 screws to hold the base in place and one Phillips screw for the SIM card tray. Remove the screw from the SIM card tray. You can't just slide the tray up or you can lose the SIM card like this. With the gateway oriented in this position, the card is on this side, which is opposite to where you insert your fingernail to lift the tray out. Tilt the gateway to the right side and then carefully remove the tray with the SIM card. Now you need to remove these two Torx T10 screws. The base is secured by some clips. The clips are at each of the legs. Insert a flathead screwdriver into this gap in front of one of the legs and pry the cover away from the base and gently lift the base up. Do the same on the next leg until the base lifts out completely. Now you have four T10 screws that hold the cover to the central unit. And you have this battery here too. The battery is held in by this clip. Pull back on it and pry the battery up. Then wiggle the battery connector up with the flathead screwdriver. Now you can get the four T10 screws out. If your button is still attached, push it in. With the four screws out, you can pull the unit away from the cover. Here it is with all the antennas on the sides. Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, 5G, Wi-Fi, 5G, Wi-Fi, 5G, Wi-Fi. These are the antenna connectors. These connectors are known as UFL connectors or sometimes known as IPEX connectors. The GPS antenna wire is in the middle. On the left is L1, L2, and on the right is L3 and L4. I'm going to use L3 and L4 for my 2x2 MIMO antenna. If you have a 4x4 MIMO antenna, you will disconnect L1, L2, L3, and L4. It's a tight space to work with, so I'm going to open this further to give me more room to work with. There are four screws holding this unit together. Here, 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 and the fourth is hidden under the 5G number 3 antenna. One. Two, three. We need to be careful removing the 5G antenna to get the fourth screw out. On this side, the antenna is tucked under this plastic edge. On this side, you can press down and back on these clips to release the antenna from here. The two tabs to press are here. Now press the tab and lift the antenna carefully. Same here. And now it comes out. There's the fourth screw. I had to use a socket attachment in order to get this one out. After unthreading it, it didn't want to come out, but it eventually fell out. You can put the 5G antenna back so it's not dangling. Just make sure the wire goes into the hole. Tuck it under on this side, and then press down and back on the clips to allow the antenna to clip in. This clip was pressed too hard by me, and now it won't spring back up. <laughs> That's okay. Now let's carefully open the unit. It's a good time to disconnect the L3 and L4 connectors. I forgot to disconnect them and they popped off. Everything is fine, but you can risk ripping the cable from the connector. To disconnect them, insert tweezers or a spudger tool under the tail end of the metal connector here and lift up to pop it out. The unit opens up like a clamp. You can't lift it up all the way because there are two wires connected underneath. Let it hang on the side, like this. Sometimes these two round plastic pieces get in the way when you're setting the shell down, so keep that in mind. These are the male UFL connectors, and these are the female UFL connectors. You need to fish the connectors through the base before you connect them. 
To give you an idea of the orientation of the gateway, here is the SIM card slot. And here is the opening for the SIM card on the base. So I'm going to fish the wires through these grills. But first, I'm going to insert the UFL to SMA cables like this through the legs of the base. And then out through the grill. Now we're ready to connect the cables. It's a little tricky. First, I'm going to aim the female connector flush on the male connector. And then I will press down with a hard flat surface, like a fingernail, flathead screwdriver, or spudger. Try again, and again. Take some deep breaths, because this can be frustrating. I got it in with my nail. Let's try again so you can see it go in. There it is. Insert the wires into the holders. Make sure all the connections are good. Here is the finished product. Put all the screws back and get the shell on. Put the SIM card and tray back in and you're ready. These are the female SMA connectors ready for external antennas. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and leave your questions in the comment section. Bye bye. 